Chapter 1281, Departure Zhang Ling stopped crying and said, You first saved our lives. You were the reason we became perfected golden immortals. You gave us shelters so we could live in peace for thousands of years. But after you disappeared, your immortal palace was destroyed and most of the millions of attendants were killed. All those loyal to you were either killed or sent to the Black Whale Starfield as slave laborers to endure brutal treatments every night. The nine of us were severely injured and were forced to hide in the Lotus World for a long time, struggling on while at death's door. After the dust settled, the Immortal Palace had turned into ruins and we used the Forbidden Immortal Seal to enter the Six Paths of Reincarnation. We blazed our way through the Six Paths official army before we reversed the Mirror of Time and pursued the last wisp of connection with you, and finally reincarnated into this world. Fortunately for us, Grandma came to our rescue and hit us in the array to escape the pursuit of the Six Paths official army. Tang Xiao gently patted Zhang Ling's shoulder and asked, Who is this Grandma you just mentioned? Zhang Ling said, She's... Whoosh. A figure flickered and cut through the sky lightning fast and instantly appeared in front of everyone in the blink of an eye. But after seeing the scene in front, the expression of the old lady in linen clothes changed greatly in an instant, especially after her eyes fell on Tang Xiao as she couldn't bear but shiver uncontrollably. Crossing tribulation stage? Her voice carried a tone of disbelief. Grandma. Zhang Ling's group of nine females slightly raised their heads. Even though they were at least ten times older than the old lady in linen clothes, they still called out to her in unison with respect and gratitude. Tang Xiao's gaze also fell on the old lady. He slightly nodded at her and said, It's Tang Xiao's pleasure to have met fellow Daoist. I've long sensed a terrifyingly powerful powerhouse in China, so I feel lucky to be able to meet you. Hence, I'd like to thank you for saving my nine subordinates. The old lady took a deep breath and tried to stabilize her turbulent emotions. Then, she nodded and said, it was fate that made me run into them. Saving them was just a matter of coincidence, so there's no need for fellow Daoist to thank me. However, I really didn't expect that the difference between the current you and the past you three years ago is like day and night. Not to mention that I never expected to see so many cultivators here. It's as the adage says that everyone changes and each must be seen differently even though only a short time passed, fellow Daoist. Tang Xiao slightly smiled and said, It's been three years already, who can say that one cannot make any progress? As for us here, we won't be part of this world anymore in the future. Daoist friend, if I'm not mistaken, you should have mastered some means to go to the immortal world, shouldn't you? The old lady smiled and said, May I ask whether I can go with you there? To tell you honestly, we're indeed going to leave for the immortal world, Tang Xiao said. However, I can't take you there since, it's very likely that there's only a slim chance of survival once we get there. But I think it shouldn't be long for the elderly to ascend to the immortal world given your cultivation level. A disappointed look flashed in the old lady's eyes, but she still nodded and said, then I won't insist since that's the case. Well, Daoist friend has protected my nine subordinates, so it can be said that Tang Xiao owes you a favor. Tang Xiao smiled and said, Please tell me whether fellow Daoist has any wish that I can help with. Upon hearing this, the old lady pondered for a while and then said, Then, can you help me get rid of two nasty old fogies? I think they're going to be here soon as well. It shall be done. Tang Xiao agreed. After one minute, two old men flickered fast from different directions. But their raucous laughter already reached even before they arrived. The world phenomenon. Someone is crossing a tribulation, huh? Let's join in the fun on the day of immortal tribulation. Let's go together to the immortal world and stroll around there, mate. <laughs> that Chinese hag. I didn't expect her to be a step faster. She'd better take us to the immortal world and let us pollute her immortal force. That will be a fucking wonderful thing. But if she refuses, let's ruin her ascension and force her to be hacked by the tribulations. Just as these voices faded away, the two old men already appeared over the island. 
However, their smiling faces instantly froze the moment they saw the situation in front. They could sense overwhelming murderous aura directly locked onto their bodies, seemingly ready to strike fearsome blows should they slightly move. Experts Everyone here was experts. And there were 200,000 of them. The two old men exchanged glances and nearly cried. Despite their tremendously powerful strength, they were still shocked by such a scene. Tang Xiao turned to Gu Yan and smilingly said, Ji Qimei dealt with many things while in passing before she left earlier. Since we're going to leave too, you can butcher these two brats while in passing as well. Brats? The name calling made the old fogey's eyes bulge out. Suddenly, Zhong Ling paced a few steps forward and said, Please let us do the honor, master. We've just regained our memories and we'd like to exercise a bit and do something for you. Tang Xiao and Gu Yan looked at each other. Then, Tang Xiao immediately nodded and smilingly said, Well, they're yours since you want to exercise. Give them swords, Yen. Gu Yan faintly smiled and threw nine immortal swords to them, saying, Nine sisters, you all have taken care of me when I was still a child. Yan feels really happy since fate brought us together again. These nine immortal swords are all defective, but Yan will definitely give you each the best immortal sword there is when we arrive at the immortal world. Please use these defective swords for now. Thanks, little Yan. The nine women smiled faintly. After each of them received an immortal sword, they quickly forced out their blood essence to refine the nine immortal swords and immediately unleashed them to form a sword formation. Back in the past, they were maids, but they also had their share of battling others. The sword formation was taught to them by Tang Xiao when he had nothing to do during his spare time. After thousands of years of training and coupled with their teamwork and battle coordination, they could still easily kill a profound immortal powerhouse even though their power had been sharply reduced at present. P please don't attack us. W we have no evil intention. The two old men's faces drastically changed, and one of them hurriedly shouted. The nine women seemed to not hear it. The killing blow was unleashed and covered the two old men in an instant, destroying their flesh and scattering their souls in the blink of an eye. Please leave now, Daoist friend, Tang Xiao looked at the old lady and said. The old lady sighed inwardly. The two enemies she had fought against for centuries now had been slaughtered. She glanced over at Zhang Ling's group of nine, nodded slightly, then flew back to the direction of mainland China. Little did she expect that those nine children she had raised up turned out to be immortals whose memories were sealed. The fact that they were also Tang Xiao's mates was truly unexpected, let alone having such a very powerful strength. It's all fine. Now I can let them go without worries. With a relieved feeling in her heart, the old lady finally disappeared from the sky over the South China Sea in a few breaths. In the sky. The tribulation clouds kept rumbling and the lightning bolts seemed as though they were about to break loose from the shackle of the dark clouds, and blitz down to strike everyone underneath the sky. Guyan's aura kept soaring as she undid the seal on her body. Her divine sense instantly covered the entire earth and easily found the rest of the zodiac jade carvings and gathered them in a flash. At the same time, many evil and wicked people doing despicable things around the globe were instantly killed as her divine sense wiped them out. This moment became the most peaceful time for the entire human race on earth. Master Gu Yan handed the zodiac jade carvings to Tang Xiao. Tang Xiao slightly smiled in response. Along with a long and loud cry, he took out the rest of the zodiac jade carvings stored in his interspatial ring. The twelve zodiac jade carvings instantly flew in all directions. Dazzling scarlet lights erupted above each zodiac jade carving, followed by a tremendously powerful aura that descended from the vault of heaven. Who dares destroy my heavenly Tao prison? An angry roar came from the distant horizon as a palm with a size of several thousands of kilometers came crashing down from the dome of heaven. A cold light flickered in Gu Yan's eyes as she powerfully slashed her immortal sword right at that gigantic palm directly. A huge, over 1,000-kilometer bleeding wound appeared on that gigantic golden palm. 
blood quickly rained down before being collected into several thousands of jade bottles Tang Xiao just threw out in a flash. A golden immortal? Damn. The mysterious powerhouse above the vault of heaven hurriedly retracted his hand, leaving flustered and exasperated curses behind before his aura finally vanished without a trace. At this moment, a 10-kilometer wide and over 1,000-kilometer long hole appeared in the sky above and countless immortal spirits rushed forth through it. Tang Xiao and Gu Yan exchanged glances, then Gu Yan immediately waved her hand. A shuttle-shaped immortal artifact suddenly appeared out of thin air, and the entire 200,000-plus experts of the Great Tang Empire were taken into it. Let's go now, master. Gu Yan softly spoke. Tang Xiao slightly smiled and motioned her to go ahead, then he looked northward. With his eyesight, he could clearly see tens of experts from China's special abilities bureaus using telescopes to look at his direction. At the same time, he also saw Miao Wenong and Xiao Mingzhen holding binoculars with somewhat complicated expressions. Brother Miao, Brother Xiao. You two take care. Find the linen-clothed Daoist friend if you have any problems. She's the true patron deity of China, and you can still see her for at least a few centuries more. Senior Duanmu, don't mix the past and present and let bygones be bygones. I hope I can see you later in the immortal world. At that time, the flags of my great Tang Empire will be waving throughout the plain. After Tang Xiao saying that he observed the changed expressions of the onlookers, before he looked up at the shuttle immortal artifact above him. Afterward, he smiled and shouted aloud in a clear voice, What are you waiting for, Fire Chilin? Don't tell me you want to rely on your power to return to the immortal world? Roar. A thunderous roar responded from a distant place. In just a few breaths, the flame shrouded fire Chi Lin appeared in front of Tang Xiao. Retract and contain your flame. We're leaving. Having said that, Tang Xiao's figure suddenly sucked into the shuttle shaped immortal artifact. The dreadful flame shrouding Fire Chilin's body also dissipated in a flash and it quickly entered the shuttle-shaped immortal artifact. Buzz. An enormous aura suddenly radiated from the shuttle-shaped immortal artifact before it quickly flashed into the hole in the sky. A few minutes after, the rift above the sky slowly closed. The clouds cleared up, lightning vanished, and the roaring thunder disappeared. The whole world was back to what it was before. Chapter 1282 The Immortal World Somewhere in the river sky outer domain in the immortal world. In the midst of the dark world, lightning flashed and thunder roared. The planet slightly tremored, waves formed twisters and swept across the planet along with the bombardment of thousands of crushing meteorites. A blob of light suddenly appeared and a shuttle immortal artifact emerged out of nowhere. The kilometers-long shuttle immortal artifact quietly suspended near the planet as the heaven and earth phenomenon gradually dissipated. As the shuttle's hatch opened, two figures quickly appeared outside. Where's this place? Gu Yan slightly creased her brows and looked confused as she glanced around. She had been to countless places in the immortal world during her thousands of years fighting and surviving here, but she was certain that she had never been here before. Tang Xiao's expression was calm, but his eyes couldn't hide his slightly moved and complicated feelings. He could see that the surroundings had a rich immortal force, then he slowly said, This place is the River Sky Outer Domain. River Sky Outer Domain? Gu Yan was surprised. How did we come to the River Sky Outer Domain? I know the immortal world is vast and feels endless, but the River Sky Outer Domain is very far away from our former residence. I've never been to this remote place. If we can't find any celestial teleportation array, it will take us thousands of years to reach the Immortal Lyceum territory just by flying using the Immortal Shuttle. Tang Xiao looked around and replied, We can't go straight to the Immortal Lyceum territory for the time being, indeed. Besides, it's very likely that we'd face many crises along the way to get there. Just a slight carelessness is enough to send all of our people to their deaths on the way there. Then what shall we do, master? Gu Yan forced a bitter smile. 
Nothing we can do but to forge our way out by exercising some radical gambits, Tang Shou said. Let's find some place to stop over and settle all of our people, while the two of us need to leave for a while. Where are we going to, exactly? Gu Yen asked curiously. I have been to the River Sky Outer Domain before, I know where we can find a celestial teleportation array here. However, we're going to need to pay a lot of immortal stones if we want to use it. Hence, we need to resort to robbing. Well, kind of looting some people nearby of their immortal stones. But if we can snatch some immortal crystals, that will certainly be wonderful, of course. Resorting to robbery? Gu Yan forced a wry smile yet again. Given her master's status, it was really unexpected that he to fall so low to the point of robbing others. Should anyone who knew her master's identity hear about this, they would very likely be shocked with disbelief. After several days, the flying shuttle artifact landed on a planet. The planet was so desolate that there was no creature living on it. As over 200,000 people flew out of the flying shuttle, everyone began to set up camps to settle here. Buzz. 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 Regardless of whether they were the high-ranking members of the Great Tang Empire, the legionnaires of the four major armies, or the family members who followed them, many people began to have a breakthrough in their cultivation after constantly inhaling the immortal force energy. Almost everyone had a breakthrough after settling for half a month on this planet. Some people, who were extremely talented for cultivation, kept breaking through one after another. It could be said that the overall strength of the Great Tang Empire Force had risen by at least one level in just half a month. During this half month, Gu Yan had arranged four arrays on the planet with her golden immortal power. Each layer was closely connected and nobody could harm anyone from the Great Tang Empire, unless the person was at the golden immortal stage. Let us set off. After arranging everything, Tang Xiao and Gu Yan flashed into the distance. Just as the immensely vast immortal world, the River Sky Outer Domain also had a vast territory. Even golden immortal stage immortals would need at least a century to fly from the end of the territory to another border. The huge area itself birthed countless forces, innumerable immortals, and the number of mortals was in the tens of billions of souls. Two days later, the pair met the first immortal in the immortal world. This human immortal was dressed in a white robe and looked like a fragile scholar as he fled in distress. His cultivation was not high, only at the celestial immortal stage. But most of several immortals pursuing him on the two chariots were in the same realm as him, even the white-bearded old man among them radiated an aura of an early stage profound immortal. Hold on. Tang Xiao and Gu Yan blocked the path of the white-robed immortal. Yu Zhong, the name of this immortal, was a native of the Snailboard Immortal region in the River Sky Outer Domain. His clan boasted a big influence in the region and he was the clan deacon's illegitimate son. But after his father was assigned to manage another immortal domain, his father's primary wife kept making things difficult for him and even sent some people to get rid of him. However, just as he was desperately running away, some powerhouses blocked his escaping path. It was like adding oil to the fire, and his heart crashed into the bottom of a valley at this moment. Please spare my life, seniors. Sensing the powerful aura radiating from Gu Yen, Yu Zhong immediately kneeled and begged for mercy. Tang Xiao slightly glanced at him before his gaze shifted to the two chariots that were getting closer. Several people on board quickly floated up and approached as they arrived. Well, well. The immortal world is really as brutal as ever, huh? A bright smile painted Tang Xiao's handsome face. The old man who led these people narrowed his eyes and stared at Tang Xiao. His eyes then landed on Gu Yan and indifferently said, Thank you for the two friends' help in stopping this damned fellow. It's not like I'm interested in meddling in your business. But if you do have a bit of self-knowledge, hand me your immortal stones or crystals. I just want money and I don't want to see blood. Does it mean you blocked our way just to rob us, mister? The old man yelled angrily, don't tell me you haven't seen the crest we're wearing? What's up with your crest? Do you have some great background or something? 
Tang Shou replied smilingly. Ha! <laughs> this immortal region is under the control of my Yu clan. The old man sneered. Anyone who dares to provoke Yu clan has met their makers already. Given how outstanding you two are, you both shouldn't be from this place, so I advise you not to poke your nose in our business. You had best not have any ulterior motives, else you must be careful to lose your poor lives. Tang Xiao secretly shook his head. Although he had yet to break through to the immortal stage, let alone being able to fight these people in front, he still had a golden immortal stage expert next to him. As for the Yu clan? He truly had never heard of this clan, which meant that they were just a small clan in this immortal region. Tang Xiao shifted to Yu Zhang and asked with curiosity, They're from the Yu clan, so what about you? Who are you and how did you provoke them? Due to fearing Gu Yan's strength, Yu Zhang honestly told his life story, and finally said with a bit of hatred, I neither knew nor had the ability to control over which family I was going to be reincarnated. For the past thousand years, I've always been very low-key and I've never wanted to use the resources my father gave me. It's all because I never wanted to take advantage of the Yu clan. But after my father left, the Yu clan is still unwilling to let me go. Two seniors, I beg you to save my life. I'll give you my fortune and even a secret that will bring huge fortune to those who seek it. Tang Xiao's eyes lit up and he immediately smiled. Well, I think we can have this deal, Yen. Whoosh. Gu Yen bolted forward lightning fast and appeared in front of the dozen plus immortals of Yu clan in a flash. Then, she swiftly sent a powerful strike from her immortal sword, cutting through the sky and instantly sweeping over these several immortals in an instant. H. How, is this, possible? The old man's pupils violently contracted and disbelief filled his eyes. He was a profound immortal stage expert and had a famous reputation in this immortal region. Of the entire Yu clan, only the patriarch and the six elders were more powerful than him. Yet, it took only one move for his opponent to kill him and all the men he brought with him. Such power, was the strength of an expert at least at the golden immortal stage. Gu Yan sneered. She seemed to have returned to the days when she bathed in blood through slaughters. There was neither compassion nor pity in her eyes. She quickly took out the interspatial rings of the Yu clan's people, checked through them and found a large number of items inside. Hey, these guys are dirt poor, master. Gu Yan shook her head and eventually transferred all of the items into her own interspatial ring, saying, We only got less than 2,000 immortal stones and 4 immortal crystals. The rest is trash. I'm afraid we can only get a little over 100,000 immortal stones selling them. On the side, a strange expression painted Yu Zhong's face. So many immortal stones, including some immortal crystals, yet this woman said that the Yu clan was so dirt poor? Was she kidding? Tang Xiao's following response, however, made him nearly collapse. Such a few immortal stones and crystals, they're indeed dirt poor, Tang Xiao said with a smile. I just thought that we can rob this Yu clan, but now I think we can just skip and forget them. This clan doesn't have that much wealth for us to bother robbing them. <laughs> that makes sense to me too, master. Gu Yan chuckled and said, but for us now, mosquitoes' meat is still meat no matter how small they are, no? How about taking a chance to visit them? The Yu clan is guaranteed to be ransacked by us. Tang Xiao turned to Yu Zhong and asked, Hey, is the Yu clan far from here? Yu Zhong's lips squirmed for a while. He then forced a smile and said, It's not very far, only half a month trip to the planet the Yu clan occupies. Given, well, it should only take several days to get there given the senior's cultivation level. Tang Xiao and Gu Yan exchanged glances. Tang Xiao then immediately asked with a smile, All right, then. Let's visit the Yu clan since they're quite near. That's right. Do you hate the Yu clan? Yu Zhong firmly nodded and said, My hate for them runs deep. I hate every one of them aside from my father. The rest can go die for all I care. Hey, they are likely not a good bunch, then. Tang Shou sighed inwardly. That reminds me of something. 
You just said that you'll tell me a secret if we help you kill these guys. Tell me about this secret. I want to hear it from you now. But beware, brat. If this so-called secret of yours doesn't interest me, you can expect to pay me at a terrible price. I'm telling you in advance that I'm very proficient in a mysterious secret art that can extract immortals' souls and torture them for eternity. You can say that even demons will pee their pants if I use this immortal soul's extraction technique on them. Tang Xiao took out a cigarette, lit up and then said while smoking. Chapter 1283, Ransacking Yu Clan Braving such a response, Tang Su smiled and his heart twitched a few times. This fella turned out to be so respectful and addressed him as a senior expert. Although he couldn't sense a strong aura from the young man in front of him, he was at least a celestial immortal stage expert. This fella must have thought that he was an expert who was hiding his strength. Hence, it couldn't be imagined how deep his fear was. Further, Yu Zhang was sure that these people were not some good bunch to deal with. He even felt a bit regretful, thinking that he was going to deceive them with other lies. As long as he could escape, he would wait for his strength to increase before going to that place to try his luck again. But now it seemed that he would end up miserable should he choose to deceive them. Senior, the secret I mentioned to you before is actually a heavenly land I discovered. But that place is fraught with fatal dangers that weaker immortals won't be able to cross. I teamed up with some people back then to explore that place to obtain cultivation resources. But all my companions died, and only I was able to escape and survive by chance. I was able to reach the celestial immortal stage relying on my own ability since I obtained the auric profusion source, in that heavenly abode. Auric profusion source? Tang Xiao and Gu Yan looked at each other, both looking surprised. The auric profusion source was a kind of heaven and earth spirit object that was greatly beneficial to immortal cultivators. In particular, it was due to its great effect in nourishing and increasing the immortal soul's strength. Any ordinary cultivator who consumed this auric profusion source would definitely be successful in his cultivation up to the immortal stage if he didn't die halfway, whereas immortals who absorbed the essence in the auric profusion source would reap great benefits to their souls. Tang Xiao himself was in an urgent need to increase his cultivation level quickly. His perception of the heavenly Tao had reached the peak immortal stage as of now. As long as he could quickly improve the power of his immortal soul, assisted by a massive number of cultivation resources, he would have smooth progress in his cultivation path and finally return to the supremacy stage. Tell me, where's this place? Tang Xiao stared fixedly at Yu Zhong. He would definitely torture this guy to death if he dared to lie. Yu Zhong took out an astrolabe and quickly marked one region, saying that heavenly abode is here. According to my inference, that place should be a trial ground, and the area my expedition went into was just its outermost perimeter. My team was able to reach the seventh floor before they were all killed by some immortal puppets. Tang Xiao took a deep breath and then turned to Gu Yan. We're heading to the Yu clan first. I need a lot of immortal stones and crystals to increase my cultivation. We'll explore this place when my cultivation level has advanced to the immortal stage. All right. Gu Yan nodded in approval. Tang Xiao then asked again, is there anything else you've taken from the Yu clan people? Yeah. Gu Yan took out an astrolabe and continued, This astrolabe is labeled as the most complete map of the River Sky Outer Domain, but less than half of the region is left unlabeled, including the region this guy just marked on his astrolabe. There's no such place on this one. Tang Xiao asked for Yu Zhong's astrolabe and did a comparison before marking some new locations. An astrolabe was a mapping tool for the immortals and most of them knew how to add starfield markers to the astrolabe to increase the regions mapped on it. All right, now take us to the Yu clan. Tang Xiao grabbed Yu Zhong's shoulder and Gu Yan brought them to fly quickly. For immortals, flying in the starry space was just everyday life. After all, the immortal world was too vast, and only on a supercontinent could they not cross the void and shuttle through the universe. Evergreen Scrub Star 
A planet that was roughly a thousand times larger than Earth and 65% of its area was covered by many bodies of water, be it from the countless rivers and lakes as well as its vast oceans and seas. The planet itself had three large continents, and the rest of the lands were islands of varying sizes. The Yu clan itself occupied a large continent as one of the powerful clans on this planet. The Evergreen Scrub Star has a total population of over 100 million, and hundreds of thousands are immortals. However, there are only three super experts at the Golden Immortal stage here. The most powerful one is the Blue Clan's ancestor, who's rumored to be able to break through to the perfected Golden Immortal stage within the next 1,000 years. The Yu Clan's ancestor is also at the Golden Immortal stage, but he's only at the early stage far from being the opponent of the Blue Clan's ancestor. However, the Yu Clan has six profound immortal stage experts, compared to the Blue Clan's three. On the way there, Yu Zhong explained the immortal domain situation and finally introduced the Evergreen Scrub Star. Tang Xiao's expression when Yu Zhong talked about the Yu Clan's ancestor was indifferent and unfazed. It was likely that he regarded this Yu Clan's ancestor as just a passerby and not worth remembering. Yu Zhong, we are actually upright and dignified immortals. Though we're currently dirt poor and must resort to robbing other immortals, they are just some wicked people, to begin with. We won't hold back since you yourself regard the Yu clan as bad apples. However, I have your life in my palm, so I'm going to push you forward when robbing the Yu clan. Do you dare to take the chance? After descending on the continent occupied by the Yu family in the Evergreen Scrub Planet, Tang Xiao asked with a smile. Yu Zhong hesitated for a moment before he forced a smile and replied, Do I look so brave to not agree with you, senior? Well, those who know the circumstances are indeed wise. Tang Xiao smilingly stated. You hate the Yu clan, so you'll be the one to make a ruckus there. Let's head to this clan's residence now. Ah. Uh. By the way, do you know where the Yu clan's treasure vault is? Yu Zhong shook his head and said, I've never taken any resources from the Yu clan. How would I know where their treasure vault is? I think you can easily squeeze the answer from some senior members of the clan, however. You're right. Tang Xiao patted his forehead and intentionally said, Well, I just got my stupid moment. All right, let's set off to their place and cause some ruckus directly before devastating them completely. The Yu clan. This clan's territory covered an area comparable to China on Earth, full of buildings and pavilions. There was no one flying over the territory since this clan had arranged a very powerful array. Those who flew would be attacked by the array unless they could destroy it. Boom. The 100-meter high front gate of the Yu clan's residence was powerfully blasted by Yu Zhong's punch. The tens of Yu clan's members who were stationed outside the front gate were all just ordinary immortals. None of them could withstand Yu Zhong's punch and were killed directly. In a flash moment, many figures flickered from the interior and came out lightning fast. Wearing battle suits and holding immortal artifacts, each of them radiated a boiling killing aura as they appeared in front of the three people. Their leader, a burly man wearing a black cloak and an immortal spear, quickly roared angrily the moment he saw Yu Zhong. You dare kill your own clansmen and smash the front door of your own clan's residence? You deserve to die for such a capital sin. You're a damn bastard, Yu Zhong. Who the hell gives you such balls? Yu Zhong unleashed his sword and aggressively burst out with killing intent. Yu Long, if you really did regard me as a member of Yu clan, then why did that vixen bitch send some people to chase me down? None of you in power even cares a shit about me, no? I would have been killed by the Yu's already had I not run into these two benefactors. A sympathizing look flashed in the burly man's eyes. However, he still coldly replied, it's your own issue to deal with, we have nothing to do with it whatsoever. Yet, you still took outsiders, destroyed the clan's front door, and killed your own clansmen. All those are capital sins. Surrender and you can live a little longer, or you'll die without any chance to reincarnate otherwise. <laughs> you want me to surrender? You're not qualified to even speak about it. Yu Zhong sneered. 
two seniors, I owe you both for your great benevolence, and I'm now giving you this clan to pay my debt. Seniors can casually slaughter them if they dare to disrespect you. Tang Xiao slightly smiled and observed the burly Yulong. However, he couldn't help but feel a bit helpless inwardly. Due to his current strength, he could only defeat ordinary immortals at most, even an earth immortal could easily slap him to death. Hence, even though he pulled out this robbing stunt with Gu Yen, there was nothing he could do at the moment. Yen, let's not waste time and just strike them. The smile on Gu Yan's face slowly faded away. The moment she unleashed the immortal sword in her body, overlapping layers of sword images spread out for tens of kilometers. It took only the blink of an eye for her to destroy all the outermost buildings of the Yu clan, while tens of thousands of Yu clan's people were severely injured and lost their abilities to fight. She didn't kill anyone because she knew that it was impossible for her to commit wanton killings given Tang Xiao's personality. Hence, she spared the lives of these people and only abolished their cultivation when she attacked. Bastard. Yu Long, who retreated for tens kilometers, immediately turned around to look at the terrifying Gu Yen and roared. All deacon sires, some outsiders just came to make trouble in our Yu clan. Please take action quickly and kill them. Whoosh. 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 Three figures flashed and instantly appeared in front of Yu Long. A burly man in the middle launched a strike with a sword and roared. Who are you, people? To think that you dare to challenge the immortal power of the Yu clan. Are you that impatient to die? Gu Yen coldly hummed in response and instantly blasted out with 80% of her power. As she cast an immortal art and displayed a divine ability, a lot of Yu clan people were hit by the impact and flew upside down. All of them were stunned, while the three profound immortal stages that were directly attacked by her looked horrified. You're a golden immortal? A golden immortal is attacking our Yu clan? Inform the ancestor quickly and let the elderly take action to kill these enemies. Yu Long growled in panic after seeing that the three profound immortal deacons were helpless and flew upside down after the strike. The two of them even seemed to have died. Gu Yan let out a contemptuous look. The sword beams kept striking and stunned all the Yu clansmen below the earth immortal stage while killing those above it. At the same time, she sent thousands of interspatial rings to Tang Xiao's direction. Chapter 1284, A Profession That Brings in Fortune the Fastest Standing in midair, Tang Xiao looked at the interspatial rings that kept coming at him with a bright smile on his handsome face. He then cast a secret art to wipe off the previous owner's mark on the rings, and then swiftly stuffed them into his own interspatial ring. Yu Zhang, who stood beside him, wore a slightly complicated expression. He used to hate these Yu clan people, but now they were like lambs getting butchered and fell to the ground. A lot of those guys who had bullied him countless times had been killed, yet the reverse in fortune gave him mixed and complicated feelings. After a long time, two lines of tears slipped down his face. The green veins on his forehead then protruded as he looked up to the sky and screamed loudly, do you see that, mother? Retribution has come. These wretched you clansmen have been punished. Your soul in heaven can now rest in peace. Suddenly, from the deepest place of the Yu clan residence, an old voice resounded and made this part of the world shake. Who comes to my Yu clan to make trouble? Do you think the Yu's are nobodies? Gu Yan retracted her immortal sword and shifted her attention to the coming person. Disdain immediately flitted across her eyes as she icily said. <laughs> Your Yu clan does have many people, but they are nothing but ants. Brat, it wasn't easy for you to cultivate up to the golden immortal stage, so you had better open your clan's treasure vault and hand over all your wealth if you want to live. This is just, a damn robbery? Yu Haoran was unable to believe his own ears when he appeared before Gu Yen. He could sense a great power coming from her. Yet, even his wildest dream, he never thought that a golden immortal stage expert would be so nonchalant as to rob his clan and disregard her own reputation. What kind of treasure did his clan have for her to be so brazen? May I know who your excellency is? There's no way robbing us is your true intention, no? 
Yu Haoran asked in a deep voice. Meh. Me, a dignified golden immortal, has greedy eyes and wants to rob your poor clan? You're dreaming. I came here with my master just to exact some revenge. But your clan hoarding those resources is kinda a waste. Might as well let me and my master do something good and help you collect them instead. Master? Yu Haoran was shaken inwardly. This woman was already at the golden immortal stage, wouldn't the person who deserved to be her master be at least someone at the perfected golden immortal stage? If that person was indeed a perfected golden immortal expert, then they were people he couldn't afford to fight against. Even he himself was likely unable to contend with this woman. Still, Yu Haoran really wanted to get to the bottom of the matter. As his eyes shifted to Tang Xiao and Yu Zhong, he became stunned. To his surprise, Tang Xiao was not even at the immortal stage. He was just a crossing tribulation stage cultivator. However, he recalled Gu Yan's statement just now and immediately thought inwardly that this guy must be a perfected golden immortal, who was playing a pig that would eat the tiger. Senior, the Yu clan is willing to hand over our wealth if it is what you need. However, I'm not sure whether Senior's companion had any feud with my clan. I'm willing to hand over the culprit to you to mediate the issue. Gu Yan slightly creased her brows and muttered, Well, continuously killing is just impossible, I think. Master is a very soft-hearted man. I just really don't get why he always shows mercy to these ants as a dignified supreme of the immortal world. After that, Gu Yan flew towards Tang Xiao. However, her mumblings left a tremendous shock to Yu Haoran, and a chill instantly ran down his back. In particular, her last four words sent out rolling thunderclaps in his heart. The Immortal World Supreme? Is this mysterious man one of the Immortal World Supremes? But of the entire Immortal World, only less than 100 experts reached the supremacy stage, right? Then, who in which terrifying existence is he? Yu Zhong suddenly flew forward. He could clearly sense Yu Haoran's fear. He thought that he could take the chance to take advantage of the fact that he was related to these powerful people to strike his target. Therefore, he stood a kilometer away from Yu clan's ancestor and indifferently said, hand over Yu Zun's wife, that launcher, as well as those thirteen people in the clan close with her. They are all damned people. Yu Haoran slightly frowned. He knew who Yu Zun was since the man was one of the six deacons of the clan and a profound immortal stage expert. However, he recalled that these two people had a fearsome cultivation level, so he coldly issued an order. Grab Yu Zun's wife Lan Shi and those thirteen people who are close with her. Investigate clearly on those who have feuds with this friend and execute them later. The moment the order was issued, a number of Yu clan's people bustled about and nearly one thousand people led by Yu Zun's wife, Lan Shi, were all killed on the spot. With bitterness in his heart, Yu Haoran respectfully said, We have killed everyone who should be killed. I have also sent some people to the Yu clan's treasure vault. Please. A small clan is likely to have some trash stored in the treasure vault. Yen, go deal with it and return quickly. We must still visit the other two houses. Tang Xiao lightly smiled in response. The other two houses. Yu Haoran was shaken yet again. His unwillingness was instantly replaced by gloating. Although his clan lost a lot this time, he knew what he must do to work around it to avoid greater losses. But the old fogies of those two houses had a bad temper. It was very likely that their two clans would become rivers of blood with bodies littered everywhere should they have a fallout with these people. A few minutes later, Gu Yen came back and nodded slightly. The three of them then stopped paying attention to Yu Haoran and flew straight to the distance. Yu Haoran stood in the air and kept gazing at the direction the trio just disappeared into. He then took a deep breath and said in a deep tone, Notify all the clan's disciples to not walk around in the near future. All of you are to stay still, and those who provoke those people won't need to be killed by others as I'll kill them with my own hands. Whoosh! A stalwart and stout man appeared next to Yu Haoran with a furious expression. Holding back his deep fury, he said, Sixth uncle, why should you compromise with them? 
shouldn't you be able to make them stay behind given your strength? Yu Haoran turned to him and a cold light flashed in his eyes as he indifferently said, me, holding them here? Do you really think I can do that? She's at least at the late stage of the golden immortal stage, and she called that man master. Do you really think I can pull out such a stunt? The stout man was aghast and asked, that woman is a late stage golden immortal expert? <laughs> Why do you think I would compromise, then? Do you really think I'm so ruthless as to throw away the lives of the Yu's offspring? Hmph, <laughs> if there was only that woman alone, I would have activated the Yu clan's protection array already and I might be able to trade blows with her for some time. But as for her unfathomably deep master, do you know about his cultivation level? The stalwart man hesitated and responded, could it be that he's a perfected golden immortal? Nope, he's a supreme. Yu Haoran shook his head. Just a casual strike from him is enough to destroy the entire territory of our clan. Fortunately, he didn't want to be bothered to do anything to us, else you all would have become dead bodies, including myself. Gasp. The burly man couldn't help but gasp after hearing this. The other territory in the evergreen shrub planet belonged to the blue clan. After the trio arrived, Gu Yen stunned Yu Zhong directly and casually threw him to the corner before she sneaked into the blue clan with Tang Xiao. Their arrival this time did not alarm anyone in the blue clan, and Tang Xiao cracked all the arrays laid out everywhere by this clan personally. Gu Yen, on the other hand, was responsible for looting the blue clan's treasure vault. After two days, the duo had ransacked 80% of the blue clan's wealth. Afterward, the duo took the fainted Yu Zhong and appeared in another house's domain, carried out the same, standard operational procedures, and then left the evergreen scrub star directly to the vast starry sky. Fuck the Yu clan. You're really damned, Yu clan. Just a few days after they left, a furious roar resounded from the blue clan and the other clan. A large number of experts from both parties immediately gathered in a short time to attack the Yu clan. The reason was simple. Thieves from the Yu clan had stolen nearly all their wealth. But Tang Xiao and Gu Yen didn't bother to think about all these trivial things. They dragged Yu Zhong to find a desolate planet and stayed there before going into seclusion. Tang Xiao spent three months in seclusion and, instead of absorbing the energy in the immortal crystals, he chose to go all out to absorb the immortal force in the immortal stones. After three months, he finally welcomed his immortal tribulation. His cultivation technique, the heavenly art of cosmic genesis, was a top-grade cultivation art in the demon realm. Even those demon gods would reap great benefits by cultivating it. However, Tang Xiao himself didn't have any demonic energy, but the primal chaos energy that was several levels higher than demonic energy. Therefore the cause of the fearsomely terrifying immortal tribulation for him. The might of his immortal tribulation was far greater than any immortal's tribulation. Even Gu Yen, who stood thousands of miles away had a worried look on her face, whereas Yu Zhong who was next to her, wore a strange expression. He stared bewilderedly at the area where Tang Xiao was, unable to express his bewildering feelings inside. The master of this golden immortal stage female had just crossed a tribulation. But there was a ridiculous matter that was truly the first unprecedented universe-shaking epoch he had ever heard. Therefore, Yu Zhong recalled the words Gu Yan muttered at the Yu clan residence. All their antics gave him a comical feeling that soared all of a sudden. That immortal world supreme stunt was definitely a bluff. Yet, it was hard for him to believe that even the Yu clan's ancestor bought it and even personally moved to get rid of his mortal enemies, and offered most of their clan's wealth willingly. As of now, Tang Xiao's figure was standing in the midst of the immortal tribulation. An arm-thick lightning bolt struck his body, but it wasn't able to destroy his body's defenses. Electric sparks like snakes coursed through his whole being as though a cloth that rubbed his body from head to toe. A twister, mixed with surging immortal force enveloped Tang Xiao, but the terrifying twister was destroyed every time Tang Xiao punched it. At the same time, thousands of planets in the surroundings slightly trembled. Each of these celestial bodies had their most vital life force madly extracted by Tang Xiao. 
he kept absorbing it into his body while at the same time using it to withstand the heavenly tribulation. The thousands of celestial bodies inside him began to swell in size and became as big as earth after he had withstood 81 lightning bolts. Chapter 1285, Encountering Battle on the Road The heavenly path universe tree floating in his Dantian space had already grown to 333 meters high and had verdant and lush branches and leaves. A rich life force began to flow back to Tang Shou continuously, improving his cultivation by leaps and bounds and sharply increasing his strength. This strength and power. Deeply sensing the taste of this power and the feeling of bloating up and that everything was under his control, Tang Xiao was slightly trembling. It was a stage he had experienced before, something he was very aware of. Although his body had incorporated the immortal force, he couldn't be regarded as an ordinary immortal at all as his power was now comparable to an earth immortal expert. But the most important thing from such a sharp rise in power was the fact that he could now use many immortal secret arts and divine abilities he was previously unable to. With his current strength, he could even easily kill ordinary celestial immortals. It does feel great. As the immortal tribulation subsided, Tang Xiao slowly stretched his body and a confident smile climbed up his face. He couldn't help but whisper to himself inwardly. Suddenly, his smile was frozen and he spaced out for a short while. He suddenly realized another thing. Back when he crossed such tribulation in the past, he always had to face hallucinations, but he didn't face one just now. Is it because I've removed the demon barrier in my heart, so I no longer have such mental demons disturbances? Tang Xiao frowned before accepting his reasoning as a reasonable inference and slowly felt relieved from the tension. At a faraway spot. Yu Zhang was still dumbstruck and tongue-tied as the horrible immortal tribulation subsided. When he looked at Tang Xiao's smiling face, he seemed to have just seen the most incredible marvel in his life and his mouth became slack-jawed. Gu Yen, on the other hand, looked ecstatic. She turned to glance at Yu Zhong nearby and burst into laughter immediately, unable to hold her urge to. Then, she asked, you feel that it was too easy, don't you? It looks too easy, indeed. Lips squirming, Yu Zhong murmured, the might of the immortal tribulation I must face before was far worse than the one I just saw. It was like a narrow escape for me, and I was barely able to withstand it. But he, why do I feel like he just treated his tribulation like a joke? Such a mighty tribulation, yet it looks like it just gave him a tickle. This, there's no way the heavenly Tao all but sent such billowing thunders, but turns out to only send him tiny drops of rain, right? Say, like deliberately throwing out the game to support him or something? Pfft. <laughs> Gu Yen didn't hold back her laughter. She then looked at the fella's shocked expression and smilingly said, Do you know who he is? He's my master. Such immortal tribulations to him is simply like a child's play. I tell you one thing. He may have just crossed his immortal tribulation, but his present strength is very likely more than enough to make a celestial immortal like you kick the bucket. Yu Zhong slowly turned and looked at Gu Yan's beautiful smiling face. Although her beauty did stir his heart, he still shook his head silently and then said, he just got promoted to an ordinary immortal. Even though he has rich combat experience and powerful strength, the most he can fight against is those at the earth immortal stage at most. I think your notion is not funny if you think he can fight me. A playful look flashed in Gu Yan's face and said, no worries. There will be a time for you to see it. Yen. Tang Xiao flashed and appeared in front of Gu Yen. He saw that Yu Zhong looked a bit strange, but didn't pay attention to him and lightly smiled instead. Well, since I've successfully crossed the tribulation, then it's time for us to deal with some more serious issues. Those three clans are too poor, and I just consumed a lot of the resources, so we need to grab more. Are we gonna keep finding targets randomly in this vast region, master? Gu Yan nodded and said, say, like robbing some big clans in this immortal domain? Nah. Dot. Tang Xiao shook his head and said, we already robbed the three largest clans in this region. 
I don't think we can get anything better if we go robbing the other clans here. Besides, if memory serves, the polychromic lucent domain should be nearby. That region boasted many powerful immortals, so we're going to explore that place. We should be able to gain tons of harvest there. Well, it's indeed better to rob a powerhouse than ransacking some poor clans. Gu Yan nodded and said, then, what about this guy, master? Are we gonna kill him or just let him go? There's no need to kill him. He's not our enemy, and his strength is not a threat to us. Tang Xiao shook his head and said, All right, let's have him follow us first. We can let him go after we have robbed enough cultivation resources. Yu Zhang wiped off the cold sweat from his forehead and interjected in a hurry. Yes, yes. I may be weak, but I'm still a celestial immortal stage expert. I'm sure there's something I can do to help you. Besides, I don't have any malice towards you and even feel grateful to you instead. Had it not been for you, I would have died in the hands of my clan's people, let alone had my revenge. You do have some discretion and are well aware of the situation. Tang Xiao replied, if anything, we don't like to kill innocent people. We'll take you to the place that has auric profusion source later as long as you obey our orders. You can be sure that you won't leave empty-handed, of course. When we snatch enough cultivation resources, we'll give you a ten thousandth of all the resources as a reward. A ten thousandth share? Yu Zhong's eyes lit up and looked ecstatic. Even though a ten thousandth may sound little, it was definitely an amazing amount of wealth to him. He knew that the number of cultivation resources this pair had robbed from those three clans was astronomical. Just those resources alone were already enormous. Thank you. Thank you, senior. I'll definitely spare no effort to do anything you ask me to. His manner was much to Tang Xiao's satisfaction. Before they left in a flash, he even spoke to him, you're not bad yourself. You have never taken any resources from the Yu clan all these years at least. Even though your strength is average, you do have quite a spirit. As immortal cultivators, we must have the guts to fight against the heavens, demons, and all sorts of evildoers. The immortal world is a brutal place where you'll be eliminated if you don't fight, and you can expect to die in the hands of more powerful enemies. If you keep cultivating diligently, there's a chance that you can be a super powerful expert that shakes the plane in the future. Yu Zhong himself agreed with Tang Xiao's words, but he couldn't help but feel that he was being looked down at inwardly. A weak person who had just become an immortal gave him such guidance was truly like a not funny joke. A week later, the trio had arrived at the polychromatic lucent starfield. The region had a floating supercontinent so vast that one wouldn't be able to see its border. Some celestial beings in the immortal world had once tried to measure it one after another by flying, but the region was so big that even a perfected golden immortal expert would spend several years flying from one end to another. This starfield had a particular trait with the existence of soul-stirring and beautiful prismatic lights everywhere. However, the scarlet clouds fluttering in the air proved to hinder one's sight greatly. This place is polychromatic lucent starfield? I've only heard of this place before, but I've never been here. Yu Zhong curiously watched the scene in the surroundings, but he was secretly alert inwardly because he had heard that this place was fraught with dangers and crises may greet anyone with each step they took. One slight carelessness was enough to kill anyone without a burial ground here. Tang Xiao nodded in response and then said, I've been here before, this place is indeed the polychromatic lucent starfield. All right, let's set off. There's a particular creature that will be greatly beneficial to us. Now that we're here, we're not just going to rob cultivation resources of others, but also get some good stuff. What kind of special creature are you talking about, master? Gu Yen curiously asked. Firecloud Cicada. Tang Shou smiled. Firecloud Cicada? Gu Yen was stunned before she happily smiled. Ah, that's quite a good thing, indeed. If we can get them and obtain some other suitable materials, then we can refine a versicolor coral garb. Yet again, a strange expression was cast on Yu Zhong's face. 
Although Tang Xiao had just broken through to the immortal stage, to him, this man felt more and more mysterious. He also knew about this fire cloud cicada. This creature was not only very powerful but also very valuable. A fire cloud cicada could be sold for a lot of immortal stones. He wouldn't need to worry about cultivation resources for at least a century if he could get one. This fire cloud cicada is very powerful, senior. I don't think I have the slightest chance to catch it even if I run into one. Further, I heard that it exists in a very dangerous place. Should we reconsider the plan again? Yu Zhang hesitated, but he still needed to voice his opinion for the sake of his own life. Tang Xiao glanced at him and lightly said, Nah, no need to reconsider anything. I already made up my mind. Afterward, the trio entered the territory of polychromatic Lucent Starfield. After many days of fast travel, they finally stopped on a crimson mountain peak. It wasn't like they didn't want to continue their journey, but it was because there was a fight that blocked their path in front. The monstrous and fearsome sword energy and the swift and powerful sword light made all of them not dare to take it lightly. Interesting. Tang Xiao stood under a red tree and calmly watched the fight from tens of kilometers away. With his current eyesight, let alone seeing for tens of kilometers, he could even see the scene thousands of miles away clearly. In the sky, tens of immortal were involved in a fight. Precisely speaking, those celestial immortals in white attire were besieging a black-robed man under the leadership of a profound immortal. The black-robed man himself was very strong and was at least at the golden immortal stage. However, he was already full of scars and his injuries seemed very serious, he was barely able to fight back the tens of celestial immortals and that profound immortal. What alerted Tang Xiao and Gu Yan was not the fight between the two parties, but rather the presence of the three old men standing near those people. Two of them were obviously a group with those immortals in white, whereas one of them was with the black-robed big man. Each of these three people had a very powerful aura. Gu Yan, who was an expert at the golden immortal stage now, could tell from their aura alone that they at least had the same cultivation level as her. There was also a chance that they were perfected golden immortal experts. Even if they were not, they should be at least at the golden immortal late stage. Oh god. I know that immortal who's being encircled. He's Dark North Immortal, the master of Aurelian Artifice sect. How come such a dignified golden immortal stage expert like fell into such a miserable situation? Yu Zhang exclaimed in a low voice with disbelief on his face. Thank you.